Ahmed Zouil was an Egyptian scientist who won the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1999. He was the first of his race to win such an accolade in the field of science. He was known as the father of femtochemistry, studies of chemical reactions on extremely short time scales, because of his marvelous works in that area of physical chemistry. Zuel was a physics professor held as a Linus Pauling chair as professor in chemistry and was the physical biology center director for the U.S. team. All at the prestigious School of California and Institute of Technology. Ahmed Zouil was born in the Manhur, Egypt on the 26th of February 1946. He was raised in Alexandria and his father, Hassan Zouil, was a mechanic who assembled motorcycles and bicycles. Later, his father worked as a government official. His mother's name was Rawiador. His parents were happily married for 50 years until Hassan died in 1992. Zouil was educated at the University of Alexandria, where he received his bachelor's and master's degree. He then worked for two years as an instructor. Zouil moved with his wife to the United States to finish his Ph.D. degree under his mentor Robin Hochstrasser at the University of Pennsylvania. Supervised by Charles B. Harris at the University of California, Berkeley, Zweil then completed a postdoctoral fellowship for two years. Zweil was appointed assistant professor of chemical physics at the California Institute of Technology, Caltech, in 1976, and he stayed at Caltech for the remainder of his career. In 1982, Zweil became a naturalized resident of the United States. He was awarded the first ever Linus Pauling Chair of Professor in Chemistry in 1995 and held that position until his death. Ahmed Zweil's main work was as a pioneer and a leader on femtochemistry, an area of physical chemistry that studies the chemical reactions that occur in just a matter of femtoseconds. The time scales are incredibly small. One femtosecond is a millionth of a billionth of a second. Using a rapid technique of ultra-fast lasers, which consisted of ultra-short laser pulses, he realized that it was possible for chemical reactions to be mapped in detail, and a study of bone rupture and bone formation at a fundamental level could then be made. While Zouil was continuing his studies on the redistributions of vibrational energy, he began new studies and works on more brief time resolutions for molecules showcasing the diverse rational motions and chemical processes. In 1991, Zouil designed the four-dimensional ultra-fast electron microscope to help understand the complexity and nature of physical, chemical, and biological transformations. His book, The 4D Visualization of Matter, was published in 2014. Over his lifetime, Zouil published over 600 papers and 14 books, including The Chemical Bone Structure and Dynamics in 1992 and Physical Biology from Atoms to Medicine in 2008. In 1999, Ahmed Zouil received the Nobel Prize for Chemistry. He was the third Egyptian national, but first in the field of science to win this prize. He received many different awards and recognitions from his works and experiments. His accolades were awarded by renowned institutions and he received the Grand Color of the Nile, which is Egypt's highest honor. During the 4th of July 2009, speech held at Cairo University, the President of the United States, Barack Obama, announced a new program of science in voice as part of the fresh start between the people from the United States and the Muslims all over the world. And in January the following year, Bruce Alpers, Eliza Rooney, and Ahmad Zouil became the first ever science Emmy series to Islam. Zouil was selected as a member of the American Presidential Council of Advisors in Science and Technology from 2009 to 2013. 
Dr. Zwil founded in 2000 Zwil City of Science and Technology, which is a non-profit independent institution of learning, research, and innovation. It is located in Egypt, and its motto is Egypt Can. From Ahmad Zwil's quotes, reading was and still is my real joy. He also said, investing in science and education is investing in future. Zwil died on the 2nd of August 2016 in California because of cancer. Eventually, nothing we can say to you, Dr. Ahmed Zwil, except chapeau.